So we've got this on deck now. Awesome. I am, I am ready. Here we're starting. Again, Mr. Spuddles, one of the favourites to get one of those four spaces in the actual UK finals themselves by reaching the top four of the last chance qualifier. But this is his nemesis. Palutena is not something he wants to ever come across ever again in his life, but he as has as a smash. weird habit of constantly getting drawn against them, and it's going the same way once again. As long as Weeaboos exist, you cannot avoid Palutena. Well, that's <laughs> yep. not, I don't think that's entirely fair to all Palutena players, but that's also a fact. <laughs> but, but I mean, you know, <laughs> it, it's also true. Now nah, that's a, that's a Palutena up there straight away on Rob, trying to yeah. recover high to avoid all of the the Other neutral airs business and, and whatnot, but we get straight back there with um, some more nares, but Irish this time. Ah, yes. And, uh, what do you reckon the Irish brand of nair uh, tastes like compared to the normal one? <laughs> Probably the exact same, but a lot more expensive, <laughs> if my trip to Dublin is anything to base off. But anyway, so what was interesting there is that Spuddles actually got turned around. I managed to get two forward airs in a row, almost accidentally, and he's got a real nice bit of damage getting built up here. Yeah, he is still full stock down, but he's eager to make that uh, gap back now. Yeah, you have to wonder how common of a character Palutena is in Ireland itself, because um, oh. so obviously they've got their main guy here. There's also uh, Battle Pup, who is also a very good Palutena player in Ireland, but beyond that, I don't know too much about the Irish scene, I'll confess. What I can say is that Rob is almost certainly an uncommon character in, oh. in Ireland. Now, this is a kind of country where you've got, like, one of the top players is a Richter. Like, they, ah. they've, they've really got some choices, and I think... Uh, some call me John, probably still going the Street Fighter characters. Is it really John or is, is it is really John? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> some call me Johnny is a YouTuber. Ah. That's not quite right. But um, anyway, so we've evened out on percents. This has been good second stop play from Spuddles, but although he's been keeping things even, it's not been taking the lead that he lost in the first place to Palustov oh, and uh, Sour Spot down there on the rob. Sending her straight up and unfortunately not getting the kill. And Spuddles just tacking on even more damage. Yeah, but this time, the Rob Sour Spot there will send Palu straight up and actually KO for it. But Palu comes straight back in with the with the leg sweep, which, uh, you know, did you realize it was a kick and not a staff? Because it sure took me a long time to figure out that the down air was actually her leg. There was actually a whole YouTube video on that, I think, by uh, Alvarad, so... Uh... I think that's how I found out initially. <laughs> and here we see the famous Nair loops. The Nair train, Nair plane, whatever people call it nowadays. I've been told if I use the term Nair plane unironically, then I will be slapped by a friend, so... I wonder who told you that one. But, um, alright, so... This is the same again, where... In the f we obviously saw Spuddles get a bit blown up on the first stock, and then everything after that has been basically even. But just being even ah. isn't enough, and that and forward air... Just running off take... and going for it, and it just works. Yep, so, so that's how we start off. We've got to readjust to the idea of playing a character like Palu, or playing against a character like Palu, but I, I was really happy with the adjustments that Spuddles made there from second stock onwards, while... Uh, I don't know, Snoop kind of stayed stagnant until until that final play where he just came out of nowhere and got a really good forward air. Right. Do you think so. we're going to see uh, Mr. Spuddle's Diddy Kong today? I don't think we're going to see it this time. You know, he's he's been blown up harder by Palos. Oh, the no, there it is. Apparently. You know what? You, okay. Why don't you take the lead? You can clearly <laughs> see this coming a lot better than I can. We're already swapping off I mean... to the Diddy Kong on the SBF skin at that. <laughs> Or the Zero skin, if you prefer. But I mean, which one of those two is running our stream right now? It's not Zero, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Spuddle's actually drawing first blood there with the uh, down throw into back air and seeking some more, but some Nairs is going to stop that. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, good. the Nair is just a catch all on this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one of. Nair is now one of Diddy's best moves as well. Spuddle's will try and make that used as best he, as he can, but. Yeah, this is this is best of five now. Even loser's side is best of five. Which oh, is yeah. why I kind of feel like there was room for at least a second Rob game before making a dangerous play like Diddy Kong. But 
this is this is the decision that's been arrived at, oh. and it's actually going fairly well, all things considered. Yeah, banana and Zev smash tried and true combo, and monkey flip gonna go connect as well. Oh, delaying that forward air, but gets the hit. That's very good stuff. Right now, Snook is is looking to regain center stage. Goes with a pivot grab. What an awkward animation that is indeed. Catches him with the back air out of shield. Ooh, misses Ooh. a banana into F smash, but a forwarder still takes the first stock. How many times can you say you've avoided Palutena's down tilt because you forward smashed in the <laughs> other direction to move forwards? Certainly a rare occurrence, that's for sure. That was good DI from, from Snoop though, keeping inwards so that the back air from Diddy Kong didn't connect. Nothing, oh. nothing really true from Diddy at that kind of percent, I don't think. So Snoop just made the right decision. Just going back to center stage with those rocket barrels. Uh, neutral get up, gonna get caught by the down tilt. All right, just just a lot of things getting shielded. And I guess that's that's kind of the thing with Diddy Kong, because he can't exactly just decide to blow you up at any given moment, like his opponent, <laughs> like true, like yeah. many characters in the game can. But um, yeah, he's just waiting for those opportunities, and that one was not one of them. Getting getting the back air from Palutena on him. We saw a ledge trump there, and not the immediate back air, but delayed a bit. Still managed to connect and take the stock as well, so just as effective, really. Yeah, and I think it's kind of worth discussing. So we've already said that Mr. Spuddles is kind of one of the favorites to get one of those top four slots out of the qualifier today. I think it's really worth stressing the importance of how well he does within the top four of this bracket if he can get that far. Because right. there is a particular pool that he would not want to be in, in the bracket. And the whole idea, whoever wins the last chance qualifier today gets to choose their pool out of the four. Whereas the person who comes fourth is stuck with the last one available. So that's especially important for Spuddles, who can do extremely well against 90% of the characters in the game, and then there is a pool with two Palus in it, which he's looking to avoid, but that's maybe why he's going for the Diddy Kong swap now, to get him ready for the future, potentially, because this is working out really, really well so far. Yeah, only 70%. He's still in an off-stage situation. Managed to avoid the up air. And Rocket oh, Barrel is onto oh. center stage. Really good patience from Snook there. Yeah, see, this is one of the things you get to see when turning a, a someone who mains a character like Rob and putting them on someone else. With Rob having such a freestyle recovery, it's translated really well to his Diddy Kong as well. Just has the freedom of the air to pass by with. Nice little frame trap there, uh, throwing the banana. Ooh, dash attack, not quite enough, but. Definitely a good attack from Snoop to just throw in there. Sometimes you just have to do it, especially when playing from behind. Banana in hand will lead into a back throw. Banana back in hand. Snook off stage again. Really dangerous because he's on his last stock 100%. And away he goes. Fair enough. That was a neutral A. It was very close to the side of the stage, reading the jump. So can't complain there. Snoop did a good job. Banana directly into the trip. There's an up there to catch the jump. And late hit dash attack actually gonna clip in there. Do you think that back there was uh, just for the DI mix up there? Oh, but the banana into forward smash. Yep. Yeah, really good from Mr. Spuddles on that occasion. Uh, with the back throw in particular, I guess. It wouldn't really be a DI mix-up because there was no hope of it KOing. Probably just to get that stage control as quickly as yeah. possible and do exactly what he just did. <laughs> get the kill. He kind of explained it better than I could. <laughs> and I get the game. So it uh, looks like we'll be seeing Diddy Kong for the rest of the set by the looks of it. Um, we'll see how it goes. Certainly the Diddy Kong did a lot better than the Rob on that occasion. He's making... Uh, He's got to obviously make some stage bans now, based on not only his own character choice, but trying to counterpick Palo at the same time. Obviously, he will want to leave Unova Pokemon League active, if at all possible, but he, uh, I mean, it's not like Snook is going to pick it on purpose, but maybe we'll see that come out as a counterpick from his side in the future. It famously messes up Palutena's recovery. It is something you just have to get used to, to be fair, but definitely uh, something that can catch you off guard if you're not used to it. 
and Unova is definitely not a common stage uh, in any list, really, besides in London. But instead, we get the other Pokemon League from the next generation. The ever-popular Kalos. Yeah, love this stage, and Spuddles is putting it to good use, but even though he's been controlling the stage for most of this game, the percents are actually in Snoop's favor at the moment, just landing bigger hits, especially what that explosive flame would have been. But just run straight in. Yeah, Snook's uh, definitely made some adjustments compared to game one, I feel like, just with how much better he's doing. I think he's uh, being a lot more aware of the banana as well. But something I have to give Snoop credit for as well and bring attention to, Richard, Mr. Spuddles had a banana just in the middle of the stage. Snook just dash attacked into it and erased the banana. And that uh, is a contributing yeah. factor in him taking the first stop right about now. Yeah, as he takes the lead in the only 50% on him as well. Uh, things are looking kind of like a reversal compared to game two. The monkey flips to the other side of the stage to safety. Oh, gets tripped by the banana toss, but no punish, unfortunately. Banana back in, so it, it has been highlighted in the set. You know, you can dash attack to remove this option, but we'll see whether it happens again. For the time being, Mr. Spuddle's just jumping around while Snoop very confident at the moment. Just keeping hold of the stage and throwing out big, dangerous moves that you ultimately can't really contest. Oh, that's a very good catch as well on the double jump. And that up air actually going to take the second stock. Uh, yeah, those adjustments definitely come in. And yeah, so when you asked Diddy Kong for the whole set, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling no now, but this is not over yet. We will see if Diddy Kong can pull something miraculous. That was maybe an opportunity for a back throw. But the game continues. Parry into forward smash like that. Very much like that. Catching banana and not giving Spuddles any opportunity. Actually, Monkey Flips under the auto ridicule as well. <laughs> the the power of low profiling, we do love it sometimes. But the, oh, Diddy Kong has no double jump and has got caught in the nares, but actually makes it back extremely safely under the circumstances. Oh, an empty hop from Snoop though gets into the back throw. This could be it right here and now with the explosive flame. He's eating quite a few explosive flames this set as well. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly fair enough, but any more, and that will definitely be it for this Diddy Kong, who has a mountain to climb right now. Yeah, Diddy Kong, not exactly the heaviest of characters. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> we, uh, well, we said that. So, again, this is Snook now 2-1 up on Mr. Spuddles, and it has to be said, this would have a huge impact on the entire tournament. Because we've already had upsets today. We've had Carnage losing to Bloom and Kibzu losing to Focus Miss, which is why suddenly people like Mr. Strange, Mr. Spuddles and Stranger, <laughs> Mr. Stranger, the, the attention's falling to them to maybe grab those four slots. But Mr. Spuddles is now in danger of dropping into losers as well. We yep. return to Rob, understandably so. All reliable. At the end of the day, he's just got to hope he can get some down air KOs and the like. All right, so Snook going straight and on the aggressive, knowing that uh, any Rob main would probably be quite afraid in this position, just goes straight in and starts going with the attacks. It's not going great at the minute, but it's starting to. Yeah, and we're seeing the power of auto cancel fair on Palutena, where. I mean, you can just, if you do fair close enough to the guard, you just can do whatever you want afterwards. <laughs> yep, that's uh, part of the kit, and the double jump has been expended as, along with a lot of the gas. Is there actually a way to tell how much gas you have left aside from just straight up running out? Yes, there is a colored gauge on the side of Rob's body, which depletes the with how much gas he has, but the thing is, I'm a Rob main myself, right? right? I've been playing this character for a full year now, and I have never been able to see the fuel <laughs> gauge in gameplay, ever. I know that it's there, but if you look really closely, there's some light blue right now, and ah, that yes. changes color when it's low, but you can't see that. Oh, nice uh, bit of 
Gyro trapping. Oh, he started the arm rotor, but Palu just falling out. That would have absolutely changed the course, but the back throw. That's ah, it. A good That's catch on the neutral get up with the up smash. Yeah, maybe even move the jump get up. I can't quite tell from those, but. Up smash, certainly the right option there. Goes for the parry on a neutral air. Unfortunately, that's not going to be useful in any way. Still, he's only taken so much percent compared to his other stocks in uh, previous Rob games. Well, game. That's but, the stock gone uh, now, though. Yeah, Paolo can just kind of take it in one fell swoop like that. Yeah, and he's uh, going for the arm rotor now. You can kind of see the mentality change just a little bit. It is what it is. Oh, it's, wow. a, it's a story of Smash UK. We... Teleport cancels onto the ledge as well. But oh, but that's a great parry. And the gyro is in place. Oh, gets the read, but she rolls so far that she goes straight past. Spot dodge, down smash. I feel like we're seeing a few panic options come out now. Hey, oh, but you know what? This is going smash. really good right now. Getting that forward smash on the landing. Uh, does the reverse neutral area manage to catch him? Mr. Spuddle's still in disadvantage, and it's so hard for Rob to escape it against Palatine. Yeah, but you know what? He's got a gyro in hand right now. Well, and escaping the ledge trap unharmed, getting the Rob stuff going. Again, Snook only needs to take this one stock to take the whole set. Spuddles needs this and another game, but he's still in this right now. But Snook, all right, so what would he be able to think of in this position to try and close things out? We're at that kind of position where an up air might be able to kill, but right now he's in the ground. I up mean, tilt. It just takes like a down there back air, straight back air, or an up air at a reasonable height. Yeah, but he's lost start. his job. Oh my uh -huh. God. Place the uh, hitbox right at the ledge to try and catch him. That was a really good retreating forward air though. Rob is right back in the game. He goes for a down smash, and that is a game to Mr. Spuddles. We're now at 2-2. Two, two. He went back to the Rob, he believed, and he was rewarded for yep. his faith. I mean, there was doubt. There was really Definitely. doubt. He gave me a thumbs down in the middle of the game <laughs> when he lost his second stop, but it has been amended. This is 2-2. Two, two. And we're back to Callus. There is no DSR or any form of it on this uh, tournament, so... And so, we have the final, the conclusion, Palo and Rob. Of course it's going to be, we got the Diddy involved, it was very enjoyable stuff, but now we'll find out the true winner of this set. Back onto Kalos though, which uh, has served Snook quite well in the past game. I can't even say games. Yeah, well I... As, again, as a Rob main myself, this is the kind of stage I would try to take Palutena to. I would prefer to take her to Unova Pokemon League if available, but um, yeah, just anything you can do to kind of take control of the stage, throw things at her and try to two-frame the recoveries as well with, with down air. Whatever helps with that is, is useful. Oh, that could have been an opportunity for an up air or something of the like. But let Snoop get away with it, and this is dead even. It's been a great set between these two talented players. Snoop, we barely get to see in the United Kingdom because he sticks so much to his own country, but he's doing very, very well against one of our finest. The arm rotor is the reflect. Doesn't connect on the character, though. Drag down up there into a grab. Wow. You don't see that one too often. Well, any sort of drag down setup, actually. Not unless you're Joker. Ah, that's going to connect, though. Rob taking to the skies, but the up air is absolutely coming. Oh, the oh, down oh. air, though. Unexpected. All right. That was a very good back air from Snoop. Just was never going to kill, but it certainly gave him the stage back for free. And struggling to get past this right now. Palutena putting up the wall, as it were. And oh, he ran out of fuel, I assume. I think he just had too much end lag on the up air, unfortunately. Uh, really unfortunate SD and coming out. Even though he was knocking at Death's store, the stock's not gone until it's gone, so that might come back to bite him in a bit. Yeah, but getting away from, from the Nair train at the very least, that could have been a lot worse. It could have looked like this, actually. Yep, so this is kind of what you have to expect in this matchup. Ultimately, Palu is going to get you from 0 to 60 within a couple of hits, but the arm rotor is very capable of KOing as well in the right situation. The tragic roundabout. Nice get-up attack from Snook there. 
Yeah, absolutely. All right, and I think he's low on gas once again. Let's have a look at those colors in the base. Uh, um, that's a yellow. See, yeah, so that's about oh, me. Back to blue. Back to blue. All right, up there. That's, that's going to take. But there's a lot of stuff to to do to make this comeback complete. Okay, we're seeing... Ah, Palu is too high to connect with the second Z-drops. Gyro. I don't think we've seen a down tilt trick yet, huh? Um, that's true. I mean, it, it's more likely to come out if you're using several in sequence. So that's why it, it feels like a common sight, but... Ooh, and Mr. the forward is generally just, just using... Barely taking the time. Hmm, all right, so Snook should be feeling very comfortable right now. He did lose the last game from quite a comfortable lead, but he can ultimately capitalize on the fact that, you know, Spuddles is going to be in a hurry right now. This is game five last stock. He's got to make some kind of play to pull this off. Snook, you know, he can kind of just take a back seat and wait for Palu's inevitable kill options to arise such as neutral air, or the back throw, or the up air, or any of the aerials. But oh, the forward smash, ah, oh, still not quite there. Uh, beam in the wrong direction? Uh, it was certainly neither gonna, not going to kill from either side, but this is looking really bad for Mr. Spuddles and really good for Snook right now. Doing it for Ireland, the sole representative we have here, but he's not done yet, Mr. Spuddles, getting the back air on Palutena, removing her from the Kalos Pokemon League. We are on game five, last stop right about now, and there's a gyro in hand, which assists with Mr. Spuddles' recovery, but a good shield from Snook By has stopped play. it from having an effect. Okay, that's a great gyro, catching out of the jump. Gets clipped by the nair. Yo, let's go, Reese! The arm murder at the ledge might have been a bit too greedy. No, the end lag does not kill him. Avoids an explosive flame narrowly as well. All right, taking to the skies once again. We have not seen Snook use an up air in like three games at this point. <laughs> He's really held back on that move. And just catches the gyro as it arrives to him. Uh, the neutral air, not gonna take it yet, but one more could spell his doom, especially at this part of the stage. Good landing, but... Ah, ill-advised gyro being thrown out there as well. Oh, that's a really good jumping neutral arrow. I could not have seen that coming. Oh. He's going for the down smash. I thought he was going to go for the arm rotor and end it all. But he's oh, attempting the down arrow. He's got it. Yes, that's good. Mr. That's a brilliant play. The comeback yeah. from Mr. Let's Spuddles go, yeah. to take yeah. out Snook. Overcoming the demon just so he can earn the reward of fighting like three more tomorrow. <laughs> three to two. Man was knocking on death's door that like what, for both five of the previous games. Row, but 